This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello, welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke and I have a new HGV. Check it out. Right, so as you can see, it is an Iveco S-Way. Straight off the bat, I'm just gonna tell you, one of my favorite features on this truck is that. It's the coolness. You can have it on cool, you can have it on heated as well if you want, and then set the levels one, two, three. Gives you a nice cool bum. I am so incredibly hot. It's well hot outside. <laughs> uh, but we are inside the truck. I've been asked loads of times to give a truck tour since I have a new truck this week. And, uh, so basically here it is. So you've seen outside, you've seen pictures. If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I've showed outside loads of times. I'm now gonna show you inside. Just bear in mind, I'm still looking to find places for things. So everything's not necessarily in its place. It's a little bit messy, but it will give you a uh, an idea of what it looks like at least. Okay, so let's start with the driver cockpit. We have a very nice leather seat very nice very comfortable and as i said outside it's got air cooled on it as well so if you've got a sweaty bum like i do at the moment uh you can sit on it uh, and you've got like a nice cool breeze coming not only from the base but from the back as well which is honestly it's incredibly nice it's my favorite feature um so yeah this is the uh the steering wheel and uh, obviously that's our view out there look and then we've got another i've got a dash here handbrake custom red ball because i'm really hot and sweaty and thirsty I've attempted to do some cable management. I'm not quite finished yet. This, I need some double-sided tape just to put on the back bit, just to have it there so it's fixed. Uh, and then we've got a cable running up there around to my sat-nav. There is a built-in sat-nav into the infotainment system, but I just, I'd prefer my own, you know? It's portable, I'll take it with me. Um, yeah, I'll just prefer my own. Um, so yeah, I started to do some cable management. It's not quite finished yet. Moving over, we've got the passenger seat. And this is what I'm saying, so, I'm still, I'm still living in here and trying to find room for everything. But again, for the passenger seat, we've got a leather seat. It is also air bounce, uh, as in suspension aid. I don't think it's air cord. Let me just check. Um, no, I don't think it's air cord. I think that's heat and that's it. But you know, <laughs> who really uh, uses the passenger seat most time? But yeah, it's a bit messy down there. I need to tidy it up. I've still got the remnants of the truck show. In that box is like yellow markers, Go GoPros in that black box black bag there got some alcohol down there but you know it's outside they don't drink whilst on the road behind us we've got the bed now what, whatever i do with the bed i make it it always looks messy but that's the bed this is where i sleep got two pillows that i normally whack around the um the seat so i can watch my tablet in bed uh, oh my god that just went straight down the back 
Okay, I've got to find that now. <laughs> okay, I can't find it. I think it's gone into the side locker down there. I'm going to have to access it from the passenger side. That's annoying. Good job it's not my phone. Um, yes, anyway, we've got controls. Yeah, so I've got a load, load of stuff over here. Rubbish, basically. Everything that you can control from the dash, pretty much, um, apart from driving, you can operate um, from the bunk as well, so that's cool. Uh, let me go for them. So we could be led down on the bunk like this, this way. So you've got your lock button. So that locks the cab. Unlock button. And then you've got your lights. They're already on because I just unlocked it. But if I press it once, I think it goes to blue. Here we go. Press it again, goes to full brightness. Press it again, turns off. We've got windows. So that one is the driver window. It's further away. That's how I remember. And then the other one is your passenger window. So if I press that, it's going down. Lovely jubbly. All the way up. I think this is your radio for your sound. So I keep pressing that, it should turn the volume up. There we go. Keep pressing it again, it'll turn down. Don't get me a copyright strike. Uh, and that's the sunroof, which I will actually open. So you press it once, opens all the way. The blind itself is not uh, automatic, it's manual. And then that button is not here. We don't need that on, because as you can see, I'm quite sweaty. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the bunk area. We've got some storage. Uh, so we've got storage above there, and we've also got storage above this side. Underneath, hidden behind the curtains, you have USB, two USB ports on this side and a pocket. You've also got another pocket down there with a fake cigarette port. The reason why it's fake on this side is because if you look on the other side, again, behind the curtains, you've got two USBs. Let me just move that out of the way. Two USB ports there, your pockets, but then down there you do have a cigarette port and again, more pockets down there as well. Obviously, you've got your height marker and that's going to be like emergency exit, isn't it, if you need it. Uh, above the driver cockpit area, you've got controls for your lights, uh, tachograph, and also beacons, and that's for like the lights, the main beams, and that's for my uh, left camera view, so it's right above me. As for lockers, we've got only three lockers, which is a bit annoying because I got I ain't got a lot of space. This one, I've got PPE in there, basically, and some rubbish. Again, I need to find room for everything. PPE in that one. I give it, what I will give it is they are actually really big lockers. This one is just general crap at the moment. And the one on the left is a microwave. So uh, I haven't used it yet, but um, press that button there, powers it on, and then when I want to use it. Uh, and then just under the microwave, we've got one storage unit there, one little storage unit here. They're very tiny, very tiny. But yeah, anyway, let's go and sit down in the driver's seat. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn the engine on and put the aircon on, because I'm boiling. Okay, so to start it, you put the key, oh, it's really dirty on the back, I need to take that off, but you put the key in there, slot it on in, you put your foot on the brake pedal down here, and then you press and hold the start button, it will then start. Lovely jubbly. It does some checks. Don't know why it says amber warning for ABS, it, uh, it disappears in a second, but I don't know why it does that. And uh, we can put the aircon on, because I am hot. And let me tell you, I can immediately feel the cold air coming from the base of this seat and on my back and it is honestly so incredibly nice you've got coldness coming from underneath and behind you and in front of you and it's like it's amazing i love it it's my favorite feature so obviously you've got your accelerator you've got your brake pedal obviously it's all automatic so there's no clutch this little button here lets you move the steering wheel so you can have it up down in out however you want um however it makes you feel comfortable i'm quite tall uh, so I've got to have the seat all the way down on the bottom. If I lift the seat all the way up, we're going up. We're still going up. <laughs> That's my view. <laughs> um, so I've got to have the seat all the way down. So I'm putting it down now. So I can actually see. Sun visor is, uh, is a bit deep. That's what uh, seating position I have. Uh, so you can press the on button. You obviously got your, your display there. Um, you got lots of information on here. Should you uh, should you want to view it all? But yeah, man, it's um, it's nice. It's comfortable. I do enjoy it. Like I said, I got to sort out that cable management there. Oh, fridges. So I got. I think that's a fridge and that's a cooler. 
again, I ain't got a lot of room. So in my cooler, I've got like just clothes basically and empty bottles. So that goes in there. And then in this one, which is filled up with food and drinks. So we've got a little flap down there. I don't know if you can see, I can't access it. I can't access it from here, but once you lift that flap up, there's a 24 volt socket. I use that socket. I put my fan on the microwave. It's a suction cup one. So I put it on the microwave, it's facing down. So of an evening, which I did a night out last night, I've done two or three nights out in this truck. Keeps me nice and cool with a 24 volt van because obviously um, there's no air con uh, overnight. Although it does have a feature. Let me turn the engine off. It does have a feature where you can press the night heater button like that. It light will turn, the lights will come on and then I can change the temperature. So obviously I don't want 16, but it goes down all the way to 10 and it starts blowing out like cool air. I'll be honest, it hasn't been that great. I haven't felt it that cool. It'd be nice if it went cooler, but I think the only way, the only way it's gonna get really cool is if you have like a dedicated air con unit. It gets to a stage where it's just kind of like just blowing out warm air, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna put the engine back on and have actual, aircon on because i am so hot right now <laughs> but yeah so that's the truck nice i do like the leather seats they're very comfortable bed is comfortable a lot of people were saying that the bed wasn't going to be comfortable but i've slept fine on it apart from the aircon issue where it gets a bit warm at night but that's just where we're having an incredibly warm heat wave at the moment in the uk um i like it i really do like it the only issue really is storage because i because i've got a, a microwave up there it means I've only really got two lockers, that's it. And the rest of them are like just door pockets. Um, so storage is an issue. However, you might have noticed, I don't actually have a bunk. It's just the one bed. Um, I have asked if I can get a storage cabinet put in. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get storage cabinet put in. That would make it so much more better. We do have things coming. I do have a leather mat coming, leather floor mats to go down there and in there with my logo stitched in, Luke Seen H2V, so that's gonna be nice. I do have some curtains coming, although the curtains are actually really good, but I've got blue curtains coming, and I've also got a Luke Seen H2V light board, which is gonna go on the back. So she's far from complete inside. Um, yeah, there is definitely uh, more to be done, but you know, I've only been in it five days. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of like getting used to where things are going and living. Like, behind me, I've got a camping chair for still from the weekend, you know, ain't staying in here. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like it. Um, it's nice, really nice. What do you think? Let me know. Anyway, um, this video is a little bit weird because I'm not really vlogging, so to speak. Um, that's pretty much it from me now. But I did do a little bit of filming over the weekend during the truck show, going around in the truck and, uh, and also leaving. So um, I will leave you now and let you watch that. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. You join me in my new truck. This is the new Iveco from Harry and Sons. Um, I have to stress it's not mine. I keep getting asked, is it my truck? Okay. No, it's not. I am not gay. <laughs> so it's not my truck, it's Harry and Sons' truck. Um, and there is a number on the door, don't call the number. I've been specifically asked to, to say, don't call the number unless, uh, unless you want to give us work. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, um, we're just about to go around the arena, which would be fun. Right, we are entering the arena. So yeah, we're just driving around. I think we've got to do like three circles of this. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh yeah, one is so loud on here. I'll give um, the waves and the air horns to everyone. Do you hear what you're saying? I can't. You can have that. No. I thought we were going around three times. Yeah, we're probably doing another lap. Oh, okay. Well, that was a nerve-wracking. Yeah, you did all right. Sure. Yeah, I didn't really hear what you say, but you looked all no, right. Really yeah. Well, the speakers are arranged to go outwards, aren't they? Not inwards. Right, we've just been sat stationary for like what felt like an eternity while all the manufacturers essentially waffled on about all of their products. We're just going uh, around the arena now again for another time. Uh, I do like punking this horn, it's pretty loud, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green, link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, it's been a good weekend. We're just about to leave Truck Fest now. Hopefully we don't run over anyone. Let's 
get on out of here. Yeah, it's been a very, very warm weekend. I think I might be a little bit sunburned, I'm not sure. <laughs> Seatbelt on. This will be the first time I've actually driven this on the road. Nice. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> it's just come up on here. Good, smooth acceleration. It's going to be giving me lots of uh, lots of advice, isn't it, on how to drive and things. It's very nice. Yeah, it's good. I like this. It's a bit of a mess in here. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, I've literally just had to throw all my gear in here. So I'm, it's like now basically I've just got to sort it all out over the next few days. Try and sort it all out and uh, find a home for everything. At the moment, it's just dumped on the bed. Uh, I'll also, you probably noticed, so this is the first time you're going to see inside the truck. Uh, seats are leather, uh, there's no bunk over. We might be getting one put in, I'm not sure, but I have asked if I could have storage cabinets instead. So that is what I'm hoping for, storage cabinets. That'd be nice. I honestly can't see anything up here. <laughs> I put the seat on the highest setting. I honestly, my eye line is <laughs> right there. Let's put it back down before we move again. That's better. Now we can see out. I'm because uh, I'm quite a tall guy. I'm six foot three, and we've also got a, a low sun visor on this. So actually, the seat is on the lowest setting. Other than air completely out, which is that. That's air completely out. I've just got the air on, but on the lowest setting. I think that's what I might go one up actually from the bottom, just so I've got a little bit of bounciness. That is what we shall do. So I might not be able to capture much footage on my GoPros because they're, both of them are running low on battery. Um, and I'm obviously I'm driving, so I can't charge them up. So um, we might not have much footage, but we, we shall see, we shall see. We'll, um, I, I shall continue driving until they die anyway. Get what we can. So for dash cam footage, the camera is back up on the windscreen, which means it's closer to the window. So there's nothing, you can't basically see anything else. I could potentially mount it. I've got to get used to these brakes. <laughs> I could potentially mount it somewhere behind me, but I won't then be able to like reach it if I need to for whatever reason. So it's just, yeah, it's better there, I think. That sticker's coming off. There's a sticker saying set to 90 kilometers an hour. That's coming off. My own's, my own's louder. <laughs> ah, some car beacon. I could tell you now, if I put my foot down, Yeah, I could feel it. Also, when you let go of the accelerator, I was expecting to go forward in the seat. I didn't. And that's because, not because there was not enough torque, but because, I'm just testing it again. Yeah, it's because it, don't, it just doesn't cut off the acceleration. It's like it builds up and then slowly builds down after you let off the accelerator. Whereas with the DAF, if I just did that, heavily accelerate and then let go, you just go like that, like shunt forward. We've got someone taking video. <laughs> It's so loud. Um, yeah, so it feels powerful. And yeah, if you let go of the accelerator all of a sudden, it don't just put you forward in your seat, it lets off the acceleration easily. I quite like driving trucks without trade on to begin with. It just gets you used to the, uh, the features a little bit. Obviously, I've had time to familiarize myself with buttons and where they are, but 100% muscle memory. So like, if I get in an accident, I need to put my hazards on. Straight away, I would know where to press the hazards in the DAF, whereas now I've got to, fi I've got to find them. They're just down there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it will take you getting used to where stuff is. Like, diff lock on the DAF was on the left. Now it's on the right by my right knee. So it's like, yeah, 
You know, I know what things do, but it's remembering where the buttons are. Got someone broken down here. Foot down, change gear, go. Okay, that really didn't go very fast. Okay, so that's it, that's the truck, that's the new Iveco S-Way. Um, for those of you who are questioning the number plate, you've had a few people say, how is it brand new with the 55 plate? It's a personalized plate, it says LC55WAY. The fives are like S's, so if you look at it like Luke C's S-Way, that's what it says basically. Um, so yeah, it's good. I love it. I actually really enjoy it. Uh, really prefer it rather over the DAF. So I like it. I like it. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the truck in the comments down below. See you soon. Bye bye.